intercessors for South Africa call all believers to stand in the gap for our nation. Join us now as we pray. Hi, my name is Linda Koboto from Voca Africa Foundation, part of IFSA. We are dealing with the mountain of the economy or the marketplace or the workplace. And if you are in the workplace, you are in the marketplace, this message is for you. We are, de we are dealing with the scripture in Isaiah 11, verse 1 to 3. The, the servant spirits of God. Pray for the servant spirits of God. And part of those servant spirits is the spirit of the fear of the Lord. It goes on to say, because it's, it's talking about Jesus Christ, actually. That scripture is talking about Jesus Christ, who has the seven spirits of God. And if you receive Christ, then you have the seven spirits in you. If you have received Christ, the seven spirits of God are in you, and you can operate with that understanding that you have the seven spirits of God. And one of those seven spirits is the spirit of the fear of the Lord. You, you delight in the fear of the Lord. It said, the Bible says that he delights in the fear of God and as a result, he doesn't make judgments by what he sees nor makes decisions by what he hears because he has the seven spirits of God and therefore when he looks at a situation, he sees it through the eyes of the Lord. We must see our economy. We must not see at the way the rent is going, but we must see our economy. We must see the marketplace through the eyes of the Lord. What is the Lord saying about the economy of South Africa? Because when we walk in the fear of God, we need God-fearing leaders in the marketplace. We need people who fear God and the fear of God can be taught. You need to teach yourself the fear of God and walk in that fear. Father, we want to pray today for the fear of God upon this mountain. We want to pray for God-fearing leaders. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for God-fearing leaders to lead the economy of South Africa, to lead the companies, Father God Almighty, in South Africa, that, Lord, you will put God-fearing leaders in position who will fear you in whatever they do. We thank you, Father, for all that you are doing for South Africa in Jesus' In Jesus' name, amen. Join us tomorrow as we continue to intercede on behalf of South Africa and her people.